I don't know if I like this color thing, guys. I don't think so. Yo, what is up, everybody? I am on Miyoshiko. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome back to my channel with a freaker. I just fixed my hair. So, a while ago, I started making anime Japan drink video kind of shit to recreate the drinks that are served at the anime themed cafes that are held in Japan. And since we all can't pack our shit and just go to Japan to try these drinks and go to these cool cafes, I took it upon myself to translate the menus, get all the shit, and create these drinks for you guys. The first cafe video I did was for Fruits Basket to celebrate the 2019 reboot. Next was the Boku no Hero to celebrate the movie release. And now, due to popular demand, a very, very highly requested anime cafe is Diabolic Lovers. You freaking thirsty ass hoes, I'm kidding. <laughs> Usually anime and game companies create these cafes to promote a release of either a new season of their anime, a new movie, or a new video game. And the Diabolic Lovers Cafe menu that we will be doing today was to celebrate the Diabolic Lovers Season 2 anime, where the Mukami Boys made their grand appearance in the anime. Now let's get started, because I know y'all are just thirsty as shit. And of course, let's first do the Sakamakis. First, we will be starting with Mr. Oresama himself. Ayato Sakamaki. And the ingredients for Ayato's drink is white peach syrup, strawberry syrup, and tonic water. As I have stated before, all of the syrups I get are from Torani.com, and tonic water you can get at your regular grocery store like Safeway, Walmart, Target, it's all there. First thing you want to do for Ayato's drink is grab your two tablespoons of strawberry syrup, get a separate cup, put in your one cup of tonic water, and put your two tablespoons of peach syrup Stir it all up, fill your cup up with ice, pour in your concoction, and you got Oresama's drink. <laughs> Second on the list, we have your freaking crazy psychotic boy, Kanato Sakamaki. And his drink requires, this one was kind of weird, it was black currant syrup. And I didn't know what black currant was. And when I was looking it up, the first thing I saw was if it was illegal in the US. It's some sort of woody shrub berry or something. Apparently growing it and importing it is illegal and banned in New York and other parts of the US. And apparently it is called the forbidden fruit in America, supposedly, I don't know, googling. So I found a good substitute, which is blackberry syrup. Next ingredient is blueberry syrup and milk. And for my lactate peeps, I got lactate milk because I'm lactose intolerant. For Kanato's drink, you're gonna wanna add your one cup of milk. I decided to fill in a bowl away to the top. Next, grab your two tablespoons of blackberry syrup and two tablespoons of blueberry syrup. Mix it all up and you got Kanato's drink. <laughs> And to complete the triplets, we got Mr. Pervy, you know this dude, Laito Sakamaki. And his drink only requires two ingredients, and that is blue karako syrup and orange juice. To create the pervert himself's drink, what you want to do is first fill your cup to the top with ice, get a separate cup and put your one cup of orange juice and mix it with your two tablespoons of blue Kirok syrup, stir it all up, dump it over your ice, and you have created Laito Sakamaki's drink. And no, I don't know what happened with my lighting here, something went off, I don't know. Omedetou, bitch -chan. And next we got Mr. Lazy Ass himself, and honestly, one of my favorites, Shu Sakamaki. And his drink is also very simple. The ingredients you will need for Shu's drink is pineapple and orange juice. To start off Lazy Boy's drink, again, you're gonna wanna fill up your cup with ice, get one cup of orange juice and at least one cup of pineapple juice, a one-to-one -one cup ratio. Mix them both together and jump them over ice, and what do you get? Mr. Lazy Ass's drink. Hey, this one was actually very quite refreshing for me. I love pineapple. And next, another favorite of the Sakamakis for me is Reiji Sakamaki. His is a very classy, elegant drink. The ingredients for his drink you will need are blue Kirok syrup, chai tea syrup, and tonic water. To start off Mama Reiji's drink, first you're gonna fill your cup up with ice. Again, are you tired of the ice? Cause I'm not. Get one cup of tonic water, two tablespoons of the chai tea syrup, two tablespoons of the blue Kirok syrup, stir it all together, dump it over ice, and you get Reiji's drink. 
The chai tea syrup has a very, very strong pigment, so I would proceed with caution. That freaking destroyed my nose. Very. I sniffed it and I was like, oh, it freaking hurts. And next we got our baby Tsun Tsun, Subaru Sakamaki. And the ingredients for his drink is cow milk, whipped cream, and black sesame sauce which we have visited before from my fruits basket and my cafe video. For Subaru's drink, you're gonna mix the milk with the black sesame sauce and then put whipped cream all over on top and then lightly drizzle that black sesame sauce for a beautiful vampire aesthetic. Oh, I personally am not the hugest fan of the black sesame sauce. I know some people like it, but it is an acquired taste indeed, and it doesn't smell the best to me. Can we just say aesthetic on this drink? Hashtag aesthetic. And now we move on to the precious Mukamis. And let's first begin with Lord Almighty, Ruki Mukami. And his drink is very classy, very simple. And his drink is nothing more than freshly brewed black coffee, and lemon. For Ruki's drink, you want to go ahead and just brew up a nice hot fresh cup of coffee. I'm using Pete's coffee and I'm using my Craig. Then you want to get a lemon, cut a slice of it and place it on your coffee cup. And boom, Ruki's drink done. Next we have the gorgeous Kal Mukami and the ingredients for his drink are grapefruit syrup, white soda, and I will be using my handy dandy Calpico, it never fails. The first step for Kal's drink, put two tablespoons of grapefruit syrup, fill the cup up with ice, and then after that fill it up with Calpico to give that amazing ombre effect. <laughs> And next, my favorite Mukami, Zaddy himself. And his drink is so cute. His drink shows like the farmer boy in him, and I think it's so fucking cute. For Yuma's drink, all you need is some hot brewed tea and orange. For our beautiful farmer boy, the first thing you want to do is heat up some water and get some nice hot green tea going. Look at that beautiful steam. Next, you want to grab your handy dandy orange, cut a slice, put it on top of your mug, and you got Yuma's beautiful drink. And last but certainly not least, we got precious baby child, precious cinnamon roll. We must protect at all costs. Azusa Mukami. For Azusa's drink, the ingredients you will need are ramune soda, jelly juice, and blue syrup. First, try to put all the jelly juice at the bottom of the glass just because the stuff is trickier to get through ice. And then you want to put two tablespoons of blue Hawaii syrup following the jelly, fill your cup with ice, and then fill the rest of the glass with ramen a soda. And our cinnamon rolls drink is done. <laughs> Like when you look at these drinks, I'm like, I know whose drink that is. I know whose drink that is. I love how they're all visually very distinctive to their characters. And I love that all the drinks, they like, they kind of got a little personality to them. You know what I mean? Like, I think they're really cute. And yeah, I hope you all get to try these drinks and let me know which one you like the best. Yeah, um, my favorites were definitely Eiffel's just because I like strawberry and I love red a lot. I also really like Lytho's drink. Like, that one was really good. Rookie is mostly because I'm not a huge fan of black coffee. Like, I'm the hoe that's like, I want coffee with my sugar, please. And Azusa's was really good because it had like jelly and kind of reminded me of like a jelly tea boba. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Make sure to like this video, let me know you enjoy it, and make sure to subscribe. Join this freaking weird weeb fam. But thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for joining my weeb family. I love you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye.